first block going down. There we go. The back set out and it works block. Don't you just look when that happens. So open up into the grooves. Done. These things are just so versatile. Get yourself up a pair. Brickworktools.com And there's Robin again. So we can get a close up of him. There he goes. Right, Saturday morning. Uh, can't remember the date. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Alex has been getting some block in while I've got a mix in. You've really seen all this in time lapse. Next job is cut all these for the returns for our bond. I'm just going to cut those, that, those 16 for now just to give us a start. Now, what we're going to do is put a block on each corner and run the first course round because we're going to put the damp on top of the first course set set our wall, wall out our separating wall and then um, we'll see how we get on then once we're all levelled up we're going to concentrate on this back wall see how we get on and uh, instead of building corners we're just going to put maybe one or two and put the fits bricks on and then when, when I come back tomorrow on my own which is Sunday I'll just put the profiles up and off we go. Yeah, that's it. Um, so I'll just get these things cut and then we'll get cracking. First block going down. If you start going too big with these blocks, this starts to wobble. Very true. Side. So those things really work from those corners. Sorry. Right, so it's block to a block that way. But it butts up like that, so there's no room for that, which is a bit hard to explain, right? Like. So when we come over the top of the next course, we have to cut three quarters to kill our bond on that corner. What that means is we're only cutting a piece every other course. Whereas if we put bond it through to a full one at the end, we have to put a three quarter all the way up. So by doing it that way, we're just cutting one piece every other course. And we, we do away with these on the corner as well. I'll explain that when we get down the end. There we go, brew time. That's only quarter past nine, but we're going to have an early broom. <laughs> Alex is ready for it after moving a load of these things. Yeah, all the corners are in. So the bond on the corners is opposite, so it works. The bond swaps each corner, both directions, so that goes from a full to a half. Full 
to a half, well, a bit less than a half, but we've smoked about that already. Same again, full to a half. And we're going to have an expansion in the middle of this. And then we've got French doors about here. Solid wall with a window. Solid wall, solid wall. You, a door, a pedestrian door, single, single door, somewhere along this wall here. So we're just getting our door sizes to set them out. And then we're going to put pillars in. But we haven't decided where they're going yet. We're going to do them as we go. And it's a lovely cool breeze today. So quick brew and then we're going to get the... Uh, i show these again. Taking the brick lane wheel by storm. These rascals, absolutely brilliant. So we can, we can just whack them on now. These will have gone off enough after brew. Jobs are good. Obviously, put a line on. Right, it's going to be. There we go. The back set out, and it works. Block. Don't you just love it when that happens? So this is going to have a pike up here, and we're going to have a pillar in the middle. Well, not quite in the middle because the bond's shifted to one side. So our pillar will come here. So there'll be a, a, a block up stand here, and then it'll be too flat to bond in with this wall. long side in just had to have a little shifty about on this we managed to make it work block but quite big perps so the perps are quite a lot bigger on this end so because we've got the expansion you can't just move it the expansion's got to be plumb so we've moved everything back so so far all the walls work block no cuts and we're going to put two pillars in each bay um, yeah one in here well, divide this into three. Section, pillar, section, pillar, section, and then same again over there. So four pillars per long length basically. And now expansion in the middle. Ish. The centre is centre lines there, so we've just put ours as close to the centre lines works block. Yeah, um, that's two sides sorted. Alex has got a load more blocking. And once he once he's got loaded up to scaffold height. He's jumping on the trowel this afternoon. So, and there's Robin again. So we can get a close up of him. There he goes. Yeah, that's it. Uh, set up on this next leg now. I think we'll set up on this long leg. So Alex is still, well he's still coming and going in there. And then, I've got a door here, single door. And then, French doors are here. Okay. First course is all going down today. And uh, once Alex has got this all loaded, we can get this wall set out. And again, we can get down here through the door if we need to get in and out. But um, we might just leave the bottom two cut, bottom two, sorry, the centre two block out for access for just getting the barrow in and out basically. So we can come straight through the building. Yeah, that's it for now. Yeah, get set up on this long side now. Oh, she's coming out now.
It's amazing how well they grip. And that is a tight line, that. Let's check this door size. Shed. Oh, it's a big door. Not a, it's not a single door. Like a French door kind of size, 1200. Right. There's our front elevation, our window. And this is the side elevation we're on now. We've got the big French doors and the small French doors. And then the window. Just after the storing wall. So we just need a rough measurement for this. It's a party wall if you like. to 1200 1200 okay, you always put your brick on the inside so it's inside your opening so you bang up to it and if you always put the brick in the same place you won't make mistakes like that either yeah 6540 is right so 65 Six five four zero works block half to a block. Six five four zero is there, so we, we tighten up because we've got big cross joints here. So we start with a half. Six five four zero there, so we can tighten that up easy. So we start with a half at the half at that door to a full one at that door. Okay. Always scrub out your old marks so you don't get confused by them. Easily done. Set, fill, fill that board up there and I'll have a board down there. Can you do uh, yes, please. Just on the bin there, mate. Cheers. Then. Yeah, you start with a full block. Get yourself a two foot level and plumb every block. Top. So we get two nice halves. Thanks, pal. Oh, hang on. Um, yeah, I'm starting with the half, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. The doors, it's not a normal single door, it's 1200, not 900. Right. Could you have checked that? Let's go. Pretty sure we've got a hump round here somewhere. Try and get it with the beds, if not, we'll just have to cut, cut a few. So you got water now? Got water in? First course of plumb every block. We were level in the tops, but the blocks are wonky, so we've got to do the face.
limpias. What's the point of having a tool belt with a hammer hook on if you don't put your hammer in the hook? Are both sides being jointed? Yeah, we're going to see if everything is double, uh, double face. The inside's getting like battened out and insulated and stuff. But it's going to be stud, isn't it? So we're going to keep it, just keep it tidy. When you join, you know all the joints are full then. Especially being on your single skin. Nice one, cheers. 15, 15, 21. Yeah, and there's, there's two windows, isn't there? Yeah, one here. So you need three 15s and a 21. Three 15s and a 21. Yeah, six by four concrete. Six by you four. want the deep ones? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Big crush like double the size. You're uh, you're at the expansion joint now. This should be 1810. If my calculations are right. Oh, we'll have to tighten up a bit actually now. We can get that. That's it. You get your block in, and then stop. Well, you don't have to stop, I'll just put your expansion joint in. It's not our stuff, I don't mind. Oh, it's alright. I changed my mind. Might as well have a quick dinner here while my coffee's there. Yeah. I bet it's like nearly half eleven now. After that. That should be 4.50. Only freaking perfect. Sorry about the heavy breathing, but the camera's directly below my mouth. And I got told off for the heavy breathing and the and the singing last night. And of all people, my mum. Yes, she told me I sound like an old man. She tells him off for breathing. <laughs> That's not good, is it? <sighs> Heaven forbid you breathe that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a tight bed there, give it a couple of taps. 
coming up. So we'll bed the next course up slightly to get over these little humps. Play in front mate, these blocks are wonky. Are they? Yeah. So you just need to tap the bottom of that. Well, it's alright isn't it? It is not bad. Have it. Well, I better not really do that, it's pretty it's offensive now. Right, yeah, okay. okay. Right, we're going to have an early dinner. That's three sides up. Alex has pretty much got it loaded now. Right, that's our middle wall, our party wall set out. That um, separates the that room from this workshop, come storage area. I've left the two middle blocks out so we can get access in and out for loading out, etc. Put a little cord up, don't need to go any higher than that because um, we've both got to jump on this long length and run this in. And then um, yeah, from now on we can get profiles on onto all the corners, which is good. So, um, unfortunately we've forgotten the lead, so the batteries are dying quick, so it's a lot of time lapse today with uh, the occasional update. So I'm going to get my sun cream on now, because it's warm out there. I'm in the shade down here. But I've got to go and build that corner up there. So I'll get my sun cream on and get that whacked up. Right, Sunday morning. Solo. So, Alex got all the blocks loaded out for me yesterday, so make sure I was alright today. So, no loading, just setting today. <coughs> Concentrate on this side, because that's the front. I'm going to take this up seven. Got a pillar in the middle, well, slightly off centre from the middle, because I'm going to follow the bond of the block work. I'm going to make that into a pillar because of the door pillar there, but I'm not touching that yet, I'm just going to leave that as the return. Get this up seven and then I'll probably run this front in up to the intermediate which is put currently in the expansion joint. So I can run that through, take that up seven as well and probably put up here, a pillar just a bit back from the expansion joint, not quite central. Um, I might put it opposite that one. And it won't be exactly opposite because the bond swapped, so the, the two sides are like staggered like that. Anyway, that's it. Put, I've got brick to put out for these. That looks bonded metal stuff. And yeah, that's it. A bit cracking. Got my belt on ready. Boards are all ready. Mix is on. So let's get stuck in.
Right, Tuesday morning. Didn't think we'd be back here till Saturday, but we're here. <coughs> uh, back on site tomorrow. Bit, bit doing foundations, but that's another story. So, Alex just got us all loaded out for this section. We're going to get this up to seven today, and then we'll probably hop over there while there's two of us and get that section in. Not too fast, anyway. Yeah, not much really to say, other than um, mix is in, boards are full, lines up, and we're ready to go. Oh yeah, just need a quick, um, another quicker with the fixed brick clamps. Lines up there for that course, but we've got this little section of mist, so get your clamp on, throw it down, tingle. Yep, there's one. Same again. Open up. Into the grooves. Done. Ready to go. And then, as opposed to putting a, a brick on that, you tend to, you're not lying, and the line moves out on the brick, you don't notice. Well, that's, that's going nowhere. These things are just so versatile. Get yourself a pair. Brickworktools.com Right, Tuesday afternoon. Well, that's just after one, I think, about half one. Uh, yeah, that side's in. It's a scaff. We're on the awkward front now. Got a window there. With a pillar that doesn't really work. But that's going to be against this party wall. And then expansion, and then two pillars either side of our French doors, which are 1800. No doors on that side. That's, uh, that's just a window in that side. Fact. I have to check where that window is, because of where the pill drops. Uh, yeah, we'll come back to that anyway. Uh, so we're cracking on. Hope oh, we're aiming to get the uh, scaffold front and back today. That'll be three sides up. And then we're back at the weekend, I think. Weather permitting, because we're back on site tomorrow and the foundations, which we're still not very happy about. But it's like, if you want these plots, you've got to do the footings. So a bit of blackmail going on. So, going on the chest mount now. Sorted.
Two halves. Bosh. Okay. Control. There we go. Customs looking after us. That racket is a sawmill next door. In here. There's a lot more people working here at weekends. Nice and tight against that expansion. Lovely. Never knew the conkers, you know, when you've been on these all day. foot level. Have to save all our rock stuff. The levels are our favourite. We were sent these two of these but uh, we bought the two footer which is down there. Because I'm impressed with them. Lovely. We need to plumb it that way. 215. That was a brand new one yesterday, that. Was it? Yeah. Shows how tough those horrible bricks were. Yeah. Back in. Marvelous invention then. Bloody marvellous. Right, what I'll do is now is get my line up. Well, let's get that off in. I'll get my line up.
This is the two footer I was telling you about. Cracking it level. So while I wait for Alex, just whack that on there. Superb. I'll cut two hours while I'm waiting. Two twenty. Two twenty. That's it. That's marked. Couple of taps on the line. Beautiful. Second tracer. Right, I'll put that line up while you're putting that brick in, please. Oh, yeah, and the blakes on the corner as usual. A concrete block box. Brick layers of dream. Right, Al. Done that line. It's your corner up. Cheers. So the motor's going off quick today. It's crap sand, which doesn't help. Yeah, that uh, that's a bit high up in there that, so we'll get that sorted by a bit of nibbling. You got the scotch there, Al? Thank you. You should always have a scotch handy. Always come in handy. The only downside of all this is double double face pointing. A lot of pointing.
water's well gone off that now. Night and day. Yep. That's the one you never play. Oh, oh, sorry. That's the one you never play. They always play all the other holes out strong and not that yeah. one. That's it. That's real time on one course. That's what we're doing. So we're on the full full length now. Now we've leveled up. So we're going to go back onto time lapse now, get a bit of jointing done and get these other last two courses up so we end up with this mortar. Probably end up putting a couple down on there. So we'll see you in a bit. Ten to three, that's what's done for today. It's two options, we're putting a mix in now. We've done three mixes in, which has done us about getting off 190 blocks. That'll do for us for today. Bloody roasting. So we're all levelled up now. Front, back and one side. There's our storage door, 1200 pillar, party wall. Locks left out for access. Throw under window. 1.8 off your doors, take doors, and corner, and then there's a window to go in there. There's the right hand pillar for it. That pillar's going to work a lot, it's going to bond in. This one isn't because it's a 1200 window, it's going to be a block and block pillar like that. So it'll look a bit different, but we're still in the same job. And then once that window is finished, that pillar is pretty much central, so it's going right to the top of the pipe. Keep that. So, yeah, we're, we're away now. Uh, we're running out of blocks anyway. That's, yeah, there's probably about 80 blocks left altogether. So we're going to wait till the delivery comes, hopefully before Saturday. And we can get back on it on Saturday. We can get that front, get that front done get the front done and then we need to get some trestles out organised. 